Welcome to Geographical Analysis, Lecture 4 on Central Tendency and Dispersion. Before we, we begin with, with an introduction to these basic descriptive statistics, we're going to quickly review sigma notation. Some of you have seen this before in previous classes, but all of you have at least by now seen the Khan Academy lecture on sigma notation. The general concept behind sigma notation is, is taking the sum of a list of numbers. Here, we're using the Greek letter for S for sum, which is a sigma, in order to uh, signify that we are going to be taking the sum of a, of a series of numbers. So the Greek letter for S is sigma, and that's why we use that letter. Now, whenever you see the sigma, you must know that we are about to take a sum. We are going to sum over a list of numbers, and we're going to keep track of the list using the indexes below and above the sigma. So the number below the sigma refers to where the sum of terms is going to begin, and the number above the sigma refers to where the sum of terms will end. Everything to the right of the sigma is, is indicating what it is we are going to sum up, what values, what list of values will, be, will we be summing. So here we have a, a list of five numbers. Uh, x1 is 3, x2 is 0, x3 is 2, x4 is 1, and x5 is 3. If we want to just sum up these five numbers, well, we are going to take the sum of xi from 1 to 5. And here, we are going to replace i with our index 1 to 5 in each step. So the first step is to take x1, then we're going to take x2, x3, x4, and x5. So that equals 3 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 which equals 9. Now, we don't only add up xi. We could also add up any function of xi. So instead of adding up xi, we could also take the sum, say, of xi squared. And in this case, what we are going to add up, same as before, from 1 to 5, we are going to add up x1 squared, plus x2 squared, plus x3 squared, plus x4 squared, whoops, plus x5 squared. So now we're going to be adding up 3 squared, plus 0 squared, plus 2 squared, plus 1 squared, plus 3 squared, 9, 4, 1, and 9, so 18 and 5, equals 23. 